Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a southern plantation. Two fingers on the left and put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line all the way across to the right. Right about here in the center I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, give a little bit of space and a straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left and mimic that line on the left, mimic that line again on the right. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down. Come right here in the center and put a dot. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, straight line down, connect on the left, straight line down, connect on the right. I'm going to mimic this line again, straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, straight line, and let's put a baby circle right here in the center. Right above, I'm going to draw a rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. Now, I come up and I draw a skinny rectangle right above the other rectangles. Now I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the right, straight line across, straight diagonal in, straight line down one, straight line down two, and leave those lines floating. Now I'm going to come over and I'm going to draw a straight line across, and right here I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, straight line, straight line, and leave those floating. Now on the right hand side I'm just going to draw a little straight line, straight line down, straight line across, connect, and then I'm going to draw a straight line all the way down to the bottom, connect on the right, one more time on the right again. Now what I've done over here, I'm going to now finish, come back in over here and draw me straight line down, connect, straight line down, connect. Over here, draw me straight line across, straight line down, connect, straight line down, connect. In between, I'm going to draw another straight line. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the left. So I'm going to draw a little straight diagonal line. And I'm going to draw a straight line across the top, little straight diagonal line in, straight line down, leave it floating, straight line down, leave it floating. Continue your line at the top, right about here, let's draw straight diagonal in, straight diagonal in, floating line, floating line. Now let's extend it a little bit again with that little rectangle on the left and straight line down, connect, and straight line down, connect. Now I come back in, I'm going to make these a little bit longer and I can finish off straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, my columns, okay? Inside we're going to put one rectangle, two rectangles, jump over, one rectangle, two rectangles, right there. And now we're going to come up in between my two columns. Right here I'm going to draw a floating rectangle with a triangle on top. Come over to the right, floating rectangle with a triangle on the top and right above in the center floating rectangle with a triangle on the top. Now I can connect everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw straight line across, jump over, straight line, and then a sharp 
diagonal down, come back up for the left, straight line across, jump over, little straight line, sharp diagonal line across, connect. Okay, now in between my columns I'm just going to add another straight line and in between those columns I did it okay. Alright, come all the way over here on the right, just draw a slightly curved line, slightly curved line, wavy line, wavy line, if you can fit it in. Now come over to the left slightly curved line, slightly curved line, wavy line up, over, wavy line. Now come all the way down to the center, straight lines across. We're going to do a brick motif so you just do little straight lines going across for a brick look. We're going to leave this all the way it is because that is a lawn. Come up to these little rectangles and draw some little squares. And let's draw these as windows. Straight line one, two. Straight line one, two. Straight line one, two. Straight line one, two straight line one, two. Now I think that's it. I could be wrong. There's a lot of lines. We'll figure it out once we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to do my columns with some gray crayon at the top and the bottom so that you can see them. Architecturally, it's hard to see my columns if I don't color them in with a little bit of something. And in the south, that was a main identifier of the owner's house. Put a little bit of gray up here. You can also do all your windows gray, all of these. Um, I did my bricks, my walkway, I did this all gray. And then I came in and I used brown to do my roof all the way across, brown to do my little triangles, brown to do my tree trunks, came in with a peach or a lighter color to do my trim on my house, my plantation mansion, came back and did my door brown and gray, not too much color. Don't want to take away from the actual architecture. Then, green, green, green for my trees, my expensive lawn, and for a pop of color, blue. You know, these are very beautiful homes. It's too bad that they rep represent a dark side of our history with slavery. Who probably is who built these. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my southern plantation all colored in. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>